Hi there. Um, welcome to another talk. Um, as you can hear and see, I've, I'm full of, I've got animals everywhere. And that's my cat talking to her kittens. Um, so I guess they're probably getting a little bit older and she can't control them. But what am I, you know, I don't really have anything I want to talk about. It's one of those talks where I just flow. I'm not, don't have any subject um, I'm talking about. Because I do talk, you know, how this, you know, thing began, if you're, if you're new to my stuff, was um, at the age of 24. I had an unexpected spiritual awakening and um, I didn't know what an awakening was, a spiritual awakening at that time. I didn't know how it happened at the time, obviously going through something that is um, that happened because I decided to that enough was enough. Um, I suffered from depression up until that point. Um, and it didn't go away after that till the age of 28. I'm 33 in my birthday, so I haven't had any depression for um, nearly five years, I think it is. Um, and so the awakening happened because I sat down, but it was such an authentic moment, right, I've had it. But it was a within thing. It was so deep, the feeling. But I realised now that I had to have the dark depression to, to manifest that. Because it, because that made me go so deep within myself, and then I started going through this awakening, which I didn't know what the hell, hell was going on. I knew it was a spiritual experience. Um, I knew it was a spiritual experience that was going on, but at the time, obviously, it took me years to find out what had happened. And I always knew I would end, end up talking about it, but I, I had to go through the process, and still am. And um, what the process is, is it's alignment with, with, I call it the heaven self. There is a you that lives in heaven and there's a you here. Heaven is a place that people that have had near-death experiences have said, have came back and said that it exists. But you have to qualify. And when we die, we go through life review. And um, this is... This is the thing we go through life review. So every, everything's recorded because we live in a, simula a simulation. So it's like a computer game. You can see everything in the computer game and get different angles for it. Um, but, but regarding the awakening, yeah, it started at the age of 24 and, um, you know, when I had enough and then started going through all this relentless knowledge. I mean, I receive knowledge it's all the time. The other information stuff I look up, like um, the AI stuff, the smart grid and the 5G, all that kind of information is is stuff that I'm looking up on the internet now. Because the reason I looked up that was because my mum and other and some and other people said I sounded like David Icke, and I didn't know who that was. And then I started looking up David Icke, and then David Icke started. I started. St Talk, he talks about awakening, but he also was speaking about things like artificial intelligence and different things. I started realizing what's going on in the world with this. I didn't have any idea that there was an AI kill grid being built. And then I started to do more research and watch scientists talk about it. And so I talk about that and, and many other subjects as well now. Um, but my information is regarding my awakening. And that, the awakening, um, you know, one of the things it showed me is that it's all synchronistic. It's like it's all meant, you see. And so I realized that I, I had to have the awakening to lead to my mum telling me, I sound like David Icke, to see David Icke, to see these other topics that I'm meant to talk about as well. Because this is also a part of the, the awakening um, of the masses is to find out what's really going on regarding Mr. Gates' um, vaccine, regarding COVID-19. So all this is very important, 
you know, because part of awakening spiritually is going through an awakening, you know, because you've got awakening to, to what's going on and then you've got spiritual awakening. What you find is, I had an unexpected spiritual awakening, but what I've seen is that a lot of people that start awakening, like, for example, let's say they start seeing what's going on in the world. They start going through a spiritual awakening later. So it's a different way to the way I, I had an awakening. Um, but it's it's how a lot of people do wake up. It's it happens because, um, because um, they're looking up information, and it can awaken you. This is what happened to Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey, um, I think he said he was reading a book on Buddhism. It's my cat still talking to our kittens, but they're not taking any notice. Um. I, Jim Carrey said he read a book on Buddhism and he started going through an awakening. I didn't read nothing. <laughs> I didn't do anything. Um, it just manifested because I had enough. And, and it was... Because God listens to authenticity. God is authenticity. God, when you, you are in a separate experience thinking that you're separate from God, but it's all the same oneness. Um... And religions are nothing to do with God. You know, I had someone add to me on Facebook lately, a Mormon. Um, my family have all been Mormons, you know. My mum's side are travelling people, gypsy people. Um, and it's, you know, regarding religion as a whole, it, they're just mirrors of each other. And when you're asleep, you can't see it. Um, I was never into religion, but it wasn't until I probably had my awakening that I started to see more clearly. Um, but, I'll, but but when you're asleep, you can't see it. But religion is are mirrors of each other. It doesn't they're just different names for the same thing. Um, and it's the same thing you see in countries. You see, oh, it's it's this divide and rule thing. Um, like for example, if you see a religious person, a, a Muslim, for example. You try telling them that Jesus is the man. And what's that going to do? You, that person will likely... Unless they're easy going. But, you know... Because um, not all religious people will impose their religion onto you, you know. Um, and it causes division. My God's better than your God kind of thing. Um, I remember I watched a boxing fight years ago with Prince Nassim. And what the opponent he was fighting was talking... Was singing about his God... And then he'd done something for his... And that, that's what it does, divides us. Thinking that your God's better and it's... We're all one. We're all the same oneness. And this is what I awakened to when I had this awakening. I started to perceive... One of the early things that I started to perceive was nothingness. And I started to become aware of the fact that... It was like logic, super logic and super rationality was just coming in. And started to think of nothing. That was one of the first things I didn't. Done. I, I realised later that that's actually a meditation. And I was just doing it all the time. And th that's the most important meditation to do actually. Because it taps you into the all of infinity. And in this you realise that all is infinite. Just infinite nothing. Comes from nothing. Everything has to come from nothing at some stage. You don't have to be a scientist to know that. It's common sense and logic to know that nothing add nothing is nothing. And that's how I've watched documentaries with scientists. Um, one very good documentary with a professor of science who said, How, you can't define nothing. And he, and, he, and he couldn't get his head around it. And he said, it's one of those things where you can't put your finger on what it is. Um, so try to communicate with our cats. But, um, yeah, you can't. And yet you got people in the world saying... About, for example, religious people thinking they've got it. Well, how does Jesus have it if, 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 if it's nothing? How? Right? Jesus Christ apparently once said, if he did exist, I'll give, him, I'll give it the benefit of the doubt, and he once said, apparently, the kingdom of heaven is within you. So when he said, follow me, he didn't mean follow him. Like a sheep, he meant... Do what he's doing. Because he said, go within. But why are you not doing it then? That's all you need to do. 
That's how I awakened. Because I was so depressed at that moment that it forced me to go within. It forced me to do that. I didn't know what I was doing at the time. I just had a moment of, that's it, I've had it. And it was so deep, so powerful, my feeling, that it manifested this awakening. And where the power is in your heart center, in the heart space is a vortex. And like I say, that in awakening, in spiritual awakening, um, you're accessing this. And you can do it right now by working with that space. And when you're starting to work, if you do it right now, you start to feel within your heart instead of think, you'll start to get insight into things. You'll start to understand things. We don't, the head just thinks, but the heart knows, right? And then you're, you're it's proven by science that this builds an electromagnetic field around you, a protective electromagnetic field. See, 5G is a negative um, effect of electromagnetic fields on us. But everything is electromagnetic energies. And when you start working with your heart space, you're working with the correct electromagnetic fields. Um, and yeah, and, and it's been proven by science that this can, this, when we do this, we can actually build heart connections with others and we can basically heal the planet. Because um, you, you heal the planet by changing the energy, the frequency, not, the, not violence. That doesn't change anything. My dad said that to me before, we need violence, and I said, no. I said, because that doesn't change the frequencies. Everything manifests from frequency. This room, everything, I'm not really wearing clothes. I'm not really a physical being, because nothing is physical, as science has shown, has proven that everything is energy, right? The question is, how does this from nothing become energy, when it's nothing? And no one can really explain that. Of what science professor, one science professor, but he couldn't do it. Um, so no one can explain that, and yet you got people that know and think they know it. That's why I say I know, and I know nothing. This is only my my awakening is one unique experience, and you find that every awakening is different. My awakening journey is different to Jesus's awakening journey. And that's why religion is stupid because you're following someone else's path. That's why I'm not, you know, I was brought up with religion, religion like I said earlier, and my mum is a psychic and she used to do shows, and religious nutters would come to the shows and say she was evil. But that's not them talking, that's the religion. That's the, you see, I mean, this is what it does to people. Um, you need to find your own truth. You didn't see G Jesus Christ reading a Bible, did you? Um, for every, it was go, he was going through an awakening process. I think that religions are, um, maybe originally they might have not been created for evil, but I've got a, a, you know, a Bible in the house and I've got this, um, these little pieces of paper that my grandma passed on. And it's basically bits from the Bible. And when I look at it, I don't look at it literally. And I, and I think that the Bible is meant to be looked at symbolically. Right? And I look at everything symbolically. Right? Because if you look at, to, to look at some of the things that the Bible says, you'd think, you'd be horrified. <laughs> and this is, this is the thing, and people think that that's, this, this is a good thing. I don't know why they think that. It must be the parents or something that's telling them that. Um, but you know, I couldn't look at it literally because it's, it's not very nice things it's saying, <laughs> is it? Even little bits from the Bible. I don't, I don't know if that's a mix of different Bibles, but it's called words of faith. Um, and, but I look at everything symbolically and this, this was the awakening again. It made me look symbolically. And then you realize everything, when you start going through this path of symbology, you start having a different experience and you real and you realize from this that what symbology does is it changes your perception of things and that's all we are it's our perceptions that molds us who we think we are and if you take all that away you're not who you think you are you see the truth is we are at, we are just infinity and i'll end on this note as david ike once said that we are a point of attention within an infinite consciousness. 
and I'm just going to leave it there. Um, for latest updates, um, videos, talks, um, etc., please do check my website at www.lovelikefamily.com. Thank you for watching and listening. Thank you.